October 12th, Columbus Day, the Planetary Society activates Meta 2, beginning planet Earth's only continuous all-sky search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Funded exclusively by donations from Planetary Society members, Project Meta was conceived and built by Professor Paul Horowitz of Harvard University. It is capable of scanning more than 8 million radio frequencies simultaneously. For Planetary Society President Carl Sagan, this technical progress is what has made the present era unique. There's never been a time like that before. So there is some chance that in the next few decades we will get a signal from some spectacularly distant, spectacularly exotic civilization, and everything on Earth will, as a consequence, change. That is possible. Meta 2 is a duplicate of Meta 1, which began searching the Northern Hemisphere in 1985 when motion picture producer and director Steven Spielberg threw the switch to kick off the program. But is anybody out there? Frank Drake, who conducted the first SETI search in 1960, thinks there may be thousands of civilizations. We take the solar system, which we know has happened, and the life on Earth as typical. And as far as we know, it is typical. We know of nothing, no freakish event that was required for us, with our motorcycles and our videotape recorders, to exist. I think even if there's a plausible argument for a few, we ought to keep looking. I'd even go further than that if there's a plausible argument that there isn't anybody out there bearing in mind that we can be wrong, we ought to keep looking because the question is of the most supreme importance. It calibrates our place in the universe. It tells us who we are. And so uh, it is worthwhile trying to find other civilizations, uh, I would say, no matter what. I don't even like Drake. You don't like the Drake? I hate the Drake. I love the Drake. How could you not like the Drake? Who's the Drake? Who's the Drake? The Drake is good. Oh.